Hello, and thank you for coming in, Repay. Thank you for coming in, Replay viewers. This is Latasha. I'm coming in from behind the scenes with so fervent embroidery. I'm just doing an order tonight. I'm just working on some towels and I needed some company. So y'all come hang out with me while I embroider the towels. And who's going to be the first person to put something in the chat and where, tell me where you're coming in from. Hey, Crafty Puerto Rican. Thank you for coming in. I know I'm a little late tonight. I, I got out here and I started working and time kind of slipped away from me. So I'm just coming in. I'm just working on some towels. How are you doing? <coughs> Excuse me. Marilyn. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So I was just trying to work on some towels. On. I'm sorry for stepping away. I'm just trying to get ready to load my next design in. Thumb drive. You working on something tonight, Crafty Puerto Rican? I know it's late, but I do most of my work at nighttime. Hey, Miss Wanda, how are you? Thank you for coming in. Coming from Massachusetts. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Thank y'all for coming in. And I'm actually using my, my multi-needle machine and I'm using my single needle machine also tonight. Just to try to get these holes done. I'm working on six of them. I have two of them done already. But I have um, four more I need to do. And I'm just stepping over here to my machine so I can load the next design. Load it up. Hello. Hey, you love embroidering tiles too. Awesome. They're so they're easy to do. Um, what type of machines do y'all have? Hello, Miss April coming in from Indiana. Hello, thank you for coming in. And these are actually for my daughter. She's going to a buy 15 needle. Okay, Jay Scott, you have a buy 15 needle. It's the same thing I have, and I have PE 800s as well. Hey, Miss Veronica, how are you? <laughs> Crafty Puerto Rico has a Ricoma EM 1010 and the Brother 1900. So you're going to get awesome. Okay, awesome. Are y'all working on anything tonight? This is an awkward angle, huh? P800. 
purest 100. Okay, awesome. And again, I'm not really doing anything. I'm just coming in to, again, try to get used to using the platform over here going live and just kind of hanging out while I work on the order. These are just some towels for my daughter. I have quite a few. This SE 600, SE 900, brother in Q 600, and wow, 1700. And a buy. Okay, awesome. Wow. Awesome, Jay. That, that makes me feel good. I'm glad to hear that the videos helped you. Uh, when I started the channel, that's what I, I was trying to document my journey of me learning how to use the machine. And it really feels good to know that it really helped other people. Thank you so much for sharing that as well. So it lets me know the work that I put into doing it didn't, you know, it really is helping people. Because I, I try to teach the way that I learn as well. So thank you. Thanks so much for sharing that. And um, I don't know if y'all can really see what I'm doing. I'm just hooping some towels here. I'm using a yes. awesome. Are y'all working on anything tonight? And I'm using cutaway on my towels. Now, some people say um, they use um, tear away with them. You say if you, uh, but I like to use cutaway on mine. So thank you, Crafty Puerto Rican. Oh, y'all hit the thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you so much for that reminder. <laughs> I'm just kind of eyeballing these and using this station. Because they're from my daughter, so they'll be a little off. It'll be okay. <laughs> Just kind of eyeballing it. And I'm sorry about the awkward angle, y'all, because I'm trying to figure out the angle. I'm used to using my cell phone to record my videos, but now with me using... My computer is just awkward trying to get angles, so I do apologize for that, but thank y'all for hanging in with me. just finished doing that was awesome. Oh, okay, cheerleading bags, Miss April. That's awesome. Backpacks. Okay, uh, Miss Pretty Eyes Covington, got to get that machine going. Um, I have a playlist over there. Hopefully, it'll be it'll be helpful for you with getting your machine set up. But it's time to get that machine out of the out there and get it going. Take your time and get familiar with it. Sorry for stepping away, y'all. We're just stepping away to get some water sabi to put on top of these towels. And I'm just going to... Hold 
That's kind of awkward angle there. And I like to just tape it on there. Well, some people take and they hoop it inside with the towel. But I like to be able to see where it's going to hit at before I leave it on there. So with it going on the machine, I would usually just put a little piece of tape on here, like for one side of the hoop, and leave it open. And then when I take it to the machine, then I'll after I find my placement, then I'll go ahead and just put it down. Uh oh, sorry, y'all, making you dizzy. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going on to the machine. I have my design already set up over here. And I got my colors in. Just double check that. Trying to check the placement now here. Just gonna go all the way down. So that's that. Y'all let me know if that's too loud. I actually had planned to do an unboxing tonight, but then these towels came up, so I wanted to go ahead and knock these out. I wanted to still do the unboxing. I probably won't do it tonight, though, trying to Finish up these towels. Is that too loud? over here just getting ready to run my uh, PE800 to do some other towels over here and I already have everything hooked Okay, thank you, Miss Wanda, for letting me know. I was trying to get this done, but I need I needed some company, but I was trying to get it done. I didn't want it to be too loud. I 
I'm just trying to check. I have some pins in this, so they want to catch the pins. That's done that fast. All right, so that one's done. Let me go and put the next one on. So if I keep stepping away without saying something. <laughs> so I'm just putting my next towel on. And I'm running my machine at 850, so that's why it, it didn't take that long. And this was only 2,100 stitches, so 2,107 stitches. So it doesn't take that long. And again, I'm just going to check my placement here. All right, another piece of tape. It's done. And I'm using this large spool of thread with my um, single needle. Because I didn't have a small spool of thread, so I'm just sitting here and babysitting the machine to make sure that it's coming out the spool the right way. Okay, so show how to set the colors for the design on the machine. So I'm using only white since it's um, towels. Um, I'll, I think I have a video on my channel showing how to do that. I'll try and see if I can maybe pull it up and tag it in, like put it in the comments or something later on. Or I'll probably do a video of, of it, maybe a short or something like that. Thank you for um, saying that, um, bringing up that question, because I know if that's the question that you have, some other people might have the same question. And again, I'm still learning too, y'all, so... I'm doing this towel on there because the design is maybe almost seven inches. So I figured I'd just use this while my multi needle was doing the larger design and the smaller design. The multi needle that ran through those four, the four towels, it's the fourth one over there. 
and I'm doing this last because I have to sit here and babysit it, you know, to make sure the thread doesn't cause a problem with this machine. Y'all have any other questions? Me. I'm just getting my other towel off of here. So that's both of these towels. I've finished up four on my multi needle. I was going to finish this other one over here. A little end of the thread here. And this is going to be 12 minutes on this machine for this towel. And then I have one more I need to do as well. I to sit it so I didn't have to sit here. Time trying to get this done. Put this here. And I'm too lazy. I don't want to rehoop it, y'all. Because <laughs> I could just probably put it on my other machine, but I don't feel like rehooping it. Yes, Miss Veronica, I'm holding the thread. Um, because um with the single needle, you know, you usually have to use the small spools of thread. I didn't have a small spool of white thread, so I'm just sitting here holding it just to make sure that it comes off the spool okay. So I'm sitting here babysitting it. <laughs>
Yes, I, I am. I'm sitting here holding it. <laughs> probably can use maybe a thread. Was it a thread tree? I think is what you call it, but I never really picked up one of those because this is this doesn't happen that often that I really use it like this. Usually I have a small spool of thread. Yes, I am holding it. <laughs> so I said it's gonna be a long time here sitting here doing this. can tape a paper clip and pass it through. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I don't know if I have a paper clip out here. Because my shop is outside of my house. I have like a shed that we, um that was an empty shell. So was, I'm not in my house to find a paper clip. Let me see if I have one. That's a good idea. Thank you for that. <laughs> I don't think I have any paper clips out here though. I don't have a paper clip. Actually, let me look and see one more thing here. Let me check something else. A small one would a small one work? And you said, um, you take a paper clip and pass it through the thread. Okay, show the picture of the clips and pass it. Okay, and put the thread in a mug. Okay, hi, Hannah. By owner, I learned a lot from you before I purchased my awesome. That's great. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, I'm gonna try that, Miss Veronica. And do I have a cup out here? I use it all. Let's see. I'll be right back, y'all. Sorry, I just walked away again. Let me see. This is a cup that we, it was a uh-oh cup that we um we did here in the shop. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's see my other tape. Just unfold the part, tape it on the sun. And the other part passes through. Thank you. Now I have a small one now. I hope that this works. Let's see. Where do I put it at over here? Okay, to sit the cup here. Thank you, Miss Veronica. I'm jumping to try this. <laughs> We're here to help each other, right? Where do I tape it at, though? So it doesn't get. I'm joking to try this. Too big. Okay, I'll try this, Miss Veronica. Okay, did it finish that letter? No. All right, let's see. Oh, 
All right, I think we own to something. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Veronica. <laughs> All right, we own to something. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you. Oh my. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, kind of close. Is the cup okay right here? Just in the front? Look at that. Well, I'll say. <laughs> thank you. This is just water, y'all. This was one of our first cups, and we messed it up, so still can use it, right? So, well, I'll say. Okay, to bling it out. Now, I was just telling my see my embroidery lane, my business partner is the one who does his learning sublimation and um, they, do, they do vinyl as well. I told my see my embroidery lane, that's what that's all I do is embroidery. <laughs> but that would be cool to um, to bling it out to cover up the mistakes. What type of projects do you all like to do? And uh, what type of projects we all doing for back to school? one more letter on this towel and I have one more to do Thank you. 
Okay, right. Try again and use that one anyway. <laughs> That's where the learning takes place. I think when you make the errors or it didn't work out so well the first time. That's to me, that's where the learning starts because it lets you know what not to do the next time. So Y'all don't forget to give the um, the live a thumbs up, please. Thank you. This is the last one, and it's supposed to be a 12 minute stitch. All right, guys, I want y'all to, um, I like the color. Thank you, uh, Crafty Puerto Rican. This is the color she picked out. She loved pastel light colors. So this is a color that she picked up. And um, again, these are just towels for my daughter. She's going to be starting college um, in about two weeks. So I'm just personalizing her towels that she's going to take along with her. She finally let me personalize something for her. I don't know about y'all, but with my kids, they don't want anything personalized. We're in the South. You're supposed to personalize, monogram everything here in the South. How about y'all? Y'all kids, or y'all y'all kids let y'all uh, personalize their items for them, or is it just my kids? <laughs> and also, want y'all to think about something else too, because with me coming on live like this, um, again, I'm just trying to get used to going live on this platform, and. Um, I'll be probably coming in late at night, you know, because I work during the day. I do work a regular job Monday through Friday. But um, Thursday night usually probably be a good night for me. But um, I want to, you all to think about some things that y'all want to see more on this channel or to see maybe um, doing a live broadcast or videos coming up. Y'all give me some ideas because going forward, I still want to make sure that what I'm putting out is something that's going to be helpful for you all. And helpful for me too, because again, I'm still learning as well. So y'all just give me some ideas of some things that y'all want to learn how to do. I'm gonna step away for one second. I'm gonna get me a pen and paper, okay? <laughs> Yes, Hannah, I'm on Instagram, but I'm not really over there a lot. I'm on TikTok as well. But with TikTok, it's been a while since I posted over there. And I'm trying to get back in the habit of really focusing on YouTube. But um, I am on Instagram, uh, but it's under my business name. Instagram and TikTok both are under So Fervent Embroidery. Just like, I don't know if my shirt is reading um, the right way, but it's So Fervent Embroidery is the name that I'm on TikTok and on Instagram. 
trying to find me a pen, y'all. And am I saying your name right? It is it Hannah? I, I hope I'm saying it right. Please forgive me if I'm not. Veronica, this really is allowing me to have my hands free. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you. All right, y'all got my pen and paper. I need some ideas. You just quit your job to focus on your business. Okay. okay. So what type of um, products are you interested in offering for your business? Because I know when you think embroidery is so many other different things that, you know, it, it's, it's so many different things you can do with embroidery and other crafts as well. Okay, I'm not familiar with what the um, type of embroidery. I would love to see it, though. I want to make dresses. Okay, I'm going to have to look that up because I'm not familiar with that type of embroidery. Like, what does it look like? Oh, wow. Just cutting a little loose end thread on there. <clears throat> okay, thank you for coming in, Miss Linda. <laughs> thank you for um, typing a comment as well. And what's, what type of machine do you have, Miss Linda? Thank y'all for the hearts. Hello, Hello Miss Carolina. Hello. Thank you for coming in. And we're just hanging out. I was just finishing up um, some towels for my daughter. But the ones that for Miss Linda, Miss Carolina, Carolina that's coming in. I was just finishing up some towels. I've used my single needle tonight, and I also have a bi uh, multi needle machine. I did the other towels on. And again, I, I had really planned for tonight to be an unboxing, but then I had to get these towels done and get them out the way. I like to start on Thursday nights. I kind of start gearing up for the weekend because um, we've been working Monday through Friday. And then I have a half day on Friday. So Thursday, I kind of stay up a little later because it's just a half day on Friday. Just trying to gear up for the weekend because that's why I do most of my, my crafting or my, my stitching as well. And I hope y'all can hear me okay with the machine going. I hope y'all can hear me. Yeah, so you understand, Miss Veronica, right? So I'm up. So tomorrow, um, again, I only have a half a day. I only work four hours tomorrow. And um, I work from home as well on my regular job. So. Thank you. 
three more letters here. And they're trying to give me some ideas. I don't see anybody type anything in the comments. Let me know what kind of videos and things like that y'all would look forward to on this channel. to do a project together that will be something nice to do but we have to probably do some planning to get that done to make sure everybody had their supplies and things like that that sounds like fun <laughs> and uh, something else that i had in mind because it's, it's several of you all on here to have a buy machine i think and um it was something that I start to think about, and I don't know if y'all would be interested in in this. One second here. Is um, I was thinking about maybe doing like a series or something like that, dealing with those green hoops, um, the green hoops that, and I'm missing a screw on here. Don't forget to check your hardware <laughs> on your um, on your your hoops. But like these green hoops that come with the buy machine. Um, for me, they were, you know, difficult to use and I was able to get, um, magnetic hoops, um, but it, it still took a little while because, you know, magnetic hoops are not cheap. So I was thinking about doing like a series or a challenge of some sort, learning how to use the green hoops so people can get used to those. Because I think for beginners, when you first get your machine, you've already spent a good whop of money for your machine. So I was thinking about maybe doing maybe some kind of series to help people learn how to use those green hoops. And also, I'll be learning, too, you know, because I don't use them much. Um, so what do y'all think about that type of challenge? And um, do you think that that will help beginners? Because I'm interested in helping beginners mostly. And how do y'all, what do y'all think about that to maybe do a series learning how to use those green hoops? All right, got one more to go. Yes, thank you, uh, Crafty Puerto Rican. And I'm not sure what kind of, um, because I think you, Crafty Puerto Rican, you use the magnetic hoops a lot too. Um, I don't know if y'all hoops look about the same like ours do or not. But I just thought I'd have been thinking about that because I remember when I first got my machine and you were anxious to get your machine, but then it's like, oh, it's such a, a hassle and a challenge trying to learn how to use those green hoops. Oh, that made a different sound. One second here. What's going on now? It made a different sound there. So I just I just thought that would be something to help, you know, because even with me, it took me some months before I was able to get um, magnetic hoops. And that's a long time to try to have to wait to do that. But I recommend the machine. Um Uh, that's a loaded question, I think, <laughs> because it recommending a machine, um, it really depends on what type of projects you're going to be working on. Um, if you're doing this for a business or just a hobby, it, it's so many things that come into play with that. So that's really, it's, it's a hard question for me to answer you know for a hobby okay um since you're looking to do maybe a hobby and depends on what type of things you're looking to do maybe good starter machine would be maybe a single needle maybe starting there and and i always say the largest hoop your your pocketbook can handle honestly um but it, it just depends on what type of projects it's hard to really answer that you know 
Thank you, Miss Veronica. Thank you for saying that. Um, she was saying that the best person for the buy videos that she found. Thank you. Um, I, with videos, I try to show demonstrations and things like that, how I would um, appreciate seeing things like the angles and taking the time to make sure you explain things to people. Um, so thank you for that, Miss Veronica. That really means a lot. Um, but that's it for the last towel here. But yeah, thank you so much for that. I like to hear feedback, you know, just to see if they're really helping people. Yeah, you use both original hoops for your Rakoma and Mighty Hoops. When you have a lot of work and want to advance, it comes in handy. That's a great point that you make. Um, um, crafty Puerto Rican. That's the reason why I had my single needle machine out tonight. Honestly, I, I have three single needles. I wanted to be able to run all three of them because I had, um, well, I wanted to run the two single needles and my multi-needle machine. But you got to remember, if you're trying to do the same project, you need the same colors of thread, you need to have at least three rolls, you know. So, mm -hmm. uh, but that's a good point that you make because sometimes you just use what you got to get the job done um, just to try to get the job moving along faster. Because I'm, I found that I end up having to go back to my green hoops this week. Because at first I was trying to um, actually, this is a book bag I did for um, for a customer, and I don't know if y'all all can see that. Let me see here. One second, now the mouse and everything going crazy here. One second, y'all. Commercial break. <laughs> okay, there we go. So just a second. But um, here's a book bag that I did for, for someone. She wanted pink. So I'm like, okay, you, that's the business we're in. We're in the customization business. Say, so, hey, you can have it your way. But um, I said that to say that I end up having to go back. And I lost the screw out of this, but you, you know you have two of them. I need to find the screw. But I end up having to use this hoop because my mighty hoop was too big. Um, the five and a half, five by five. When you put it inside the pocket here, you didn't have enough room for the arm to move around. So I end up having to go back to that. So that's a great point that you make, um, Crafty Puerto Rican. Sometimes you just have to use what you got. And it's good to be able to take and learn to use different hoops for different projects, too, to get things done. Okay. Um, I was looking to see about purchasing but no one really showed the steps. I'm just scared to order. You scared, scared to order what, Miss Veronica? I think I missed something. Yeah, run that by me again, Miss Veronica. Um, I have a set of fast frames too, six for my six needle. Yeah, um, the fast frames, like for the buy machine, I have the... Um, the eight in one magnetic hoops is what they call it for the buy machine. Uh, but it's it's really similar to the fast frames. Only difference is the fast frames are just the frame, but the magnetic hoops for the buy machine is a frame with the magnetic that goes on top of it. So yo, know, those are good as well. And I tried to use the fast frame, well, the magnetic hoops that's like the fast frame. But with the arm, it still was not going to have enough room to move around. I was scared it was going to yank it off the machine. Thank you, Crafty Puerto Rican. Um, her and her mom went back and forth about the color that her mom had talked her into doing the blue color on there. But she was like, my daughter wanted pink. I'm like, I think pink will sell out more. So we'll see when they get ready to pick it up. Yes, pockets like that is where fast frames go. Yes, that is true. Yes, that is true, Miss um, Miss Linda. Yeah, they will come in handy using that. Oh, for the buy machine. Okay, thank you, Miss Veranda, for, clarifi uh, for clarification. Okay, looking to purchase, but no one. Yeah, and still, um, the education is forced by in um, the company. They have put a lot of educational videos out there. When I got my machine, it wasn't a whole lot of education out there. So um, that's why I really just started this channel to 
you know, start um, showing some of those steps. Because for me, I have to see every step. Don't tell me, okay, this is A and we at Z. What happened in between, you know? So that's why I started this channel. But there are a lot of educational videos over there. They, they have put a, a lot. Um, they take the education seriously. They, they're putting a lot of videos out over there. Yeah. I've actually been using that missing clips. On the, okay, yeah, that, that's good too. And, and the clips to hold everything on there. That's true. That those work as well. Thank you, Hannah. I'm, I'm so glad to hear that you um, found those videos helpful. Thank you. That that means a lot, y'all giving me that feedback, you know, because I, I was just trying to document things as I learned how to use the machine. And um, honestly, sometimes I find that I have to go back and look at some of those videos myself, too. The ones that I did, I go back and look at those as well. Their channel got removed and they just created. Yes, they, they did. They had some trouble with their um their channel, but that there is a new one that they put their um educational videos on too. So I'm not sure what happened with it, but yeah, they, they are working really hard to try to get it back up and going. From my understanding, they did get it back up. They're still um loading videos there. I love watching your vibe videos. Thank you, Miss Linda. Thank you. Good night, um, pretty eyes, Covington. And um, I'm going to be going on and call it a night as well. Let me show you all what I did. Um, it was a set of six towels. Give me one second. Let me grab those. And I'm just show you um, just one of each size. There's nothing fancy. I just wanted um, wanted to be personalized. I'm trying to take it off the hoop real quick. And I, I have I didn't clean up anything tonight as far as um cutting the um stabilizer and things like that off. I didn't do any of that yet. I'll finish these up tomorrow after I get off work. But this is um one of them right here. So she just wanted her name on it. And her name is Tashira. It's my oldest daughter. And here's the small towel. Just put her name on everything. You know, just a way to make sure no one, you know, takes her her, her things. And this is, and I got it folded in half. This is a big one too. But um, but that's just her name on there, Tashara. But I think that is it. And it was six towels that I did tonight. I think that is about it. But um, I, again, I had wanted to do an unboxing. Um, I'm not sure if I'll maybe come back in tomorrow because I have one thing I need to do tomorrow. I just have a bag um, that I need to do. I'll probably do that tomorrow. And um, I'm looking forward to doing the unboxing as well. So um, but I guess we'll go ahead and go ahead and leave. I'll go ahead and end the live. And um, thanks again, you all, uh, for coming in. Um, I don't know what to say, but good night, y'all. <laughs> Until next time. And I probably will come back in next week on Thursday because, again, Thursday usually works better for me. So um, even if y'all can't catch me live, just at least go back and look at the replay. So um, good night, y'all. And we'll see y'all next time. And happy stitching. Thanks, Crafty Puerto Rican. Good night, all. Oh.